The BBC's Andrew Marr rebuked a leading French MP and strong ally of Emmanuel Macron this morning, as he claimed the EU's last-minute demands were an attempt to scupper Britain's independence. BBC's Andrew Marr called out the EU's last-minute demands in the Brexit talks this week for trying to scupper Britain's freedom and independence. He grilled a leading French MP Alexandra Holroyd, who is also a strong ally of Emmanuel Macron, on the latest demands from the EU. Mr. Marr claimed that the EU's latest fishing demand for 10 years of free access to British waters was taking the mickey. Mr. Marr said, the EU has hardened its negotiating position at the last minute and that is not fair dealing. When Mr. Holroyd dismissed this, claiming the EU has held the same position for the last four years, the BBC host fired back. He said, let's look at fishing. Britain is regaining her independence as an independent coastal state, and that includes independence and authority over her own coastal waters. So when the EU says they want access for the next 10 years, to many people in Britain that looks like taking the mickey, frankly. The French MP responded by claiming that the EU would cut off market access to British fishermen if French fishermen were banned from Britain's waters. He said, Britain is gaining its full sovereignty over its fishing waters and the EU is regaining its full sovereignty over who has access to its markets. European fishermen fish a lot in British waters, but most fish fished by British fishermen are sold in the European common market. Mr. Marr said, but if Britain leaves but then has to follow EU regulations in any directions forever after, that's not real freedom is it? That's not authority, that's not independence. The N. Marquet MP and ally of the French president claimed, Britain has its full independence to make its decision, to sign or not sign a deal. Mr. Holroyd reiterated the claim that France has the right to veto any proposed UK-EU trade deal if it doesn't like what has been agreed. Mr. Marr suggested that EU had a big miscalculation when they predicted that Boris Johnson would buckle under no-deal pressure. 